poor man laid, tak? The poorest man laid? <laughs> this side's done. Check this out. Oh. Made it dirty. Guys, it's noisy. We're at a track day at Blackhawks Farms in Wisconsin. No, no, it's Illinois. No, it is Illinois. We got Lucas. We're both driving the Impreza. Uh, you know, we're, it's we're slow and silent. Slow and silent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's some loudest cars here right now. There is a Group One uh, in session and running right behind us. Yeah, let's let's go take a look at some cars.
237, hanging around 237. Okay. Left. Huh? Left time. 137, 33. Your best. <laughs> oh, yes, your best one. 230, 137. That was me driving just now. Lucas was in the passenger seat. Well, we're about to go. Okay, we're coming out. We are watching uh, oil temp gauge and coolant temp gauge on my phone. We hit 237 and it kind of stayed there. It's it's like 90 outside, almost, I guess. We got the heater going. It actually hit 237 without the heater going, full blast. So now we are going with the heater on, all right. But we're not gonna record it because it's gonna be the same, you know, thing. So we'll, I'll report uh, the temperatures and all when we're when Lucas is done driving. Maximum attack! I'm going 240! Pull down! Pull down! 135! I got you! Ow! Oh, this time! Yeah! Okay, but the next set, yeah, there's one more session. So uh, now you know! Now you know! Now I know! Look! Look as one with an instructor first! I've never been here. I did a 137 something and he did a 135.6 just now. So, uh, but yeah, now I know his lines, the instructor's lines. It's a different group now, under 300 horsepower. The one you've seen before was above 300 horsepower. Black flag, which means something happened. Oh no, I think the yellow Corvette was trying to overtake that M3, and M3 wasn't given in, and he got a black flag with a circle in the middle telling him to you know move over. Okay, so I don't know if you heard me before. Actually, this is our new setup. I think it's extra weight. Yeah, it's extra weight right now. Last session coming up for me, then Lucas again. And uh, I don't know if you heard me or not before, but now I know the lines. I just went out, you know, first time, tried to figure out on my own. Luke went with a uh, instructor. So Luke was my instructor for a minute there. So now I know the lines, you know. Okay, so we're doing uh, what we did yesterday, but we, we forgot to grab the chalk. Is you mark the tires, obviously, no, the edge. And then uh, you, you're going to be where we, then we're going to be able to tell how far the tire is uh, flexing or whatever. So we're thinking it's up to here, but we want to make sure. We don't know if we did it this during the autocross yesterday or we're somewhere here, or whatever. The, I don't know if you see this, but the rotors on the on the inside are white. 
Yes, they are. They have warmed up. Got some glue coming off from the pads. All right, again, not gonna record my session. Just come back as we drive back because it's hot, it's loud. Uh, we're, we'll, you know, we'll do an update as we drive. We're loaded up and as we drive back. Scale. Car. We're weighing our car. It's full, full stock. Half a tank of gas. And you know, even the spare is in here, okay? So it's a fully stock 06 NA Impreza. And we're going to strip it down. Update coming up. All right, guys, we're coming back. It's been, I don't know, three hours or so. We're eight, we're, you know, we ate, cooled down. It's 87 degrees outside. And uh, Lucas beat me. I gotta say, I'm just gonna throw it out there. He's happy because we went to an autocross yesterday. So yeah, it's a it's it's a draw. It's a draw now. No, it's not. I'm still winning three to one. You're free. okay. This year it's a draw. This year, last year I beat him twice during the autocross. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. I couldn't didn't have a chance to have a, a good lap because someone was either blocking me or going too fast, I had to way too fast, you know, I had to let them through and blah blah blah. Anyways, then I went in with Lucas and uh, I kind of, you know, I should have just left him go on his own because we, <laughs> we actually went off, well he went off track, I mean off, we were heading sideways towards the trees, right, was it the tree, like tires, Tire. right behind, the, behind right. the tire wall. There was a forest, okay, and we were going fast. And uh, I guess he, what did you do? You, you forgot to, no, you, uh, well, he was braking, but way too late. And he was trying to do a heel toe maneuver, and which we, none of us know how to do. And uh, his foot ended up in between the clutch and brake pedal. Or, brake pedal and yeah. gas pedal. And, Actually, underneath it. Yeah, and <laughs> I mean, too bad. It, yeah, you we never recorded it, but it was mad. I mean, it wasn't that scary because we were going sideways, so he would, you know, hit the wall first. I was over here; the wall was on the left. But we barely made it. We were like this far from the tire wall. I mean, I shit you not. Anyway, and then he just fucking dumps it in second and just shoots out of the grass. You know, the the guy with the yellow flag just kept it out for like maybe five seconds they're oh, okay they're off they're good okay so you put it away but yeah it was fun so times i had a 137 point what was it five no 137 point something i had a 132 i think that's what you hold on okay one exact times that doesn't matter because and you were 135 134 and he got down to 134. Yeah, the first session was 137, 33 for you. 137, 3. And 135, then 55 for me. 135, 5. Okay, so and that's... And then second session was 137, 32 for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the last the session time. last session was 134, 80, 83. Okay, so that's a that's a good amount of difference. You know, two and a half, whatever, 2.4, 2. Point, what is it, seconds? Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I should have went. We, yeah, like we two kinda, and a half seconds. We had a, you know, a, a, some chit chat about us actually going to some school, driving school. Yeah, you know, we or should. maybe just see instructors before each track, you know, because you know they can give you some nice pointers. So if you're a beginner, or even not, you know, if you've been going like once, twice, or three times, uh, but you never talk to an actual instructor, then go take a drive at a, you know, particular whatever you're going track day, even autocross. You got guys, veterans, you know, they've been out there for years, okay, they can give you some pointers. And um, although, I mean, we've been doing autocross for quite some time, but uh, this was Luke's first track day ever. Mine first this year, first time on this track. Uh, but yeah. yeah you see, the, the instructor helped yeah, a lot. Perfect example. Uh, some ex you know more experience than, than the look but no instructor no experience on the track with instructor so actually she, she was he was showing me the lines kind of follow through 
not every single one, you know, because kind of, I guess, uh, old habits. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So, gotta work on that. But uh, the car performed beautifully, nothing went wrong. Perfect. Yeah, besides it, what the one mishap when Robert actually was session one, right? Yeah, session one, uh, I guess the. Uh, he came back, he's like, check engine, you know, all the lights on. Yeah, we had a misfire, uh, went back uh, in right away, the so, check engine light was flashing, we had a misfire, I guess on two cylinders, and uh, the, the driver's side uh, wires, uh, spark plug wires, spark cables, yeah, popped, popped out. out. Pushed them right back in, heard the click, and never came out again. We do have an oil internal valve cover oil leak on both sides, but more on the driver's side, so we gotta fix that. That's gonna be fixed with the cam. Oh yeah, we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna throw a cam at, at it, or four, two cams. And that's gonna, that should fix that oil leak. Yep. Some of you may get that job. Anyways, that's it guys. Uh, oh, next. there's a one more update. Robert probably showed you uh, already, but uh, he found a fix for a, for a super common problem. The head yeah. gasket problem. We're actually driving the... Exactly. Yeah, this is the... No. The fix. <laughs> the fix is the Toyota 4Runner, a towing vehicle and a trailer. Okay, perfect fix. <laughs> All right, next stop, or in some future, we actually just now weight the car. Front axle, and we're not going to show the weight. No, no, no. We have the weight here. ticket here. We have the actual weight of a stock 06 STI as it sits, more or less, you know. Uh, and we're gonna strip it down as, as much as we can and we're gonna STI. weigh it again. I huh? wish. STI? Did I say STI? You did. Impreza. And then Impreza. Uh, so yeah, next stop is gonna be stripping it down and we're gonna have exact weights before and after. Okay guys. Subscribe. Like. Dislike. But like. And subscribe. Comment. See you in the next one. Guys, a quick correction. I thought the black flag with the orange dot inside means get out of the way, but that's the blue bag with a diagonal yellow stripe. As you can see, that means motionless or a faster car is coming up behind you. Uh, you, you know, been waved or whatever, and you need to be, you need to slow down. This flag, what I thought was means there's something mechanically wrong with your car let's say it's smoking for example and they wave you to go into the pits uh, you know green flag is obvious yellow flag is no passing there's something going on maybe a car spin off like we look as did and then you got a red flag just basically i mean a yellow flag basically slow down then you got the flag we know black flag is complete the lap you are on and then come to the pit lanes and talk to a you know crew member or whatever talk to somebody they want something from you then we got the black with orange flag then this weird flag take care oil or foreign substance has been spilled you know slippery track and then checkered flag is obvious so these are the flags at your typical track day that's all.